Heads up, twenty ups. Um, so here we go. I am making. Um, normally this is shrimp and tortellini, um, but I am allergic to shellfish, so I do chicken instead. Unless I decide that I want to eat the shellfish and then just um, take some Benadryl before bed, which I do on occasion. Um, so I have my tortellini cooking, and that is almost done. And then in this pot, I'm putting a stick and a half of butter. Normally it's just one stick. I ended up using twice as much tortellini, um, so I'm kind of doubling the recipe, but only kind of. I make this a lot. I'm melting butter. That's all we're doing over here. And my tortellini is done, so we're just going to let that sit. I have chicken over here that I've already defrosted and cut up into relatively bite-sized pieces. While the butter is melting, I am going to um, mince up some garlic. I have one garlic clove over here. And it's like one and a half, kind of. And because our garlic press sucks, I have this exciting chopper thing that my mommy gave me. And I have minced garlic! Yay. So we're going to leave that aside until I'm ready for it, which will be soon. Um, I also, it's supposed to use basil, but I'm out of basil, so I'm substituting with parsley. We'll see how that turns out. Um, I figure it can't be too bad. Alright, I got my butter, it's all melted in there. I am adding my garlic. And I am adding my two teaspoons of parsley, which should be basil. I've never tried it with parsley before, so we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to mix that up just a little bit. It's very frothy. And then I'm just going to scrape all my chicken in. And then we just cook the chicken in here. So my method generally just involves making sure that each chicken piece touches the stove at some point and then letting it sit and then flipping them because that way I know that they're cooked on all sides. I don't know if this is how I cook chicken. I'm sure that there are better ways of doing it, but there's lots of little pieces of chicken and you have to make sure they all get cooked. So there you go. At the very end, we're gonna add Parmesan cheese. Normally it's half a cup, I'm gonna add three quarters. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure that out now while the chicken is cooking. And I'm not a big cheese person, so it's just approximating. All right, chicken is looking good. Clearly this doesn't rank on the list of healthiest meals for you, since it is a stick and a half of butter-based sauce. Um, I've never tried to make it healthier than I mean, the chicken is. Chicken's not bad, um, and I, have been getting the various healthier tortellini, which sometimes is good. I just use cheese tortellini. I imagine you could do it with just about anything. I have made this with other pastas before as well, but it's definitely the best with tortellini. Mm. All the sauce gets in all the nooks and crannies. It's good. And tortellini's got some substance to it. It's a nice meaty pasta. in my opinion, anyway. And try not to let the chicken stick to itself. It's not the most exciting meal to make, but it's fast and easy and tastes awesome. But everything seems to be cooking really fast today. My pasta cooked really fast, so I felt like I had to cut my chicken really fast, which meant that it was all bigger pieces than I would have liked. There we go, we've got better bite-sized pieces. They're still a little in the big end, but they'll do. They'll do. I'll we'll let it sit for a little bit longer. All right, so I'm gonna turn off the heat and let it keep going as it is. I'm going to drain my pasta. Because I didn't do that before.
Come on, Jordani. There we go. the door in just like so stir it all around a little bit Move the if you need to turn the heat back on to heat the pasta back up a little bit if your pasta has sat and gotten cold I'm going to add parmesan cheese Mix it all up. Carefully. But I'm gonna make a mess anyway. So I'm gonna make sure everything's gone through the sauce. I would say shrimp and tortellini, but since it was no shrimp, chicken and tortellini. It's really just a sauce, and you can put the sauce with everything, which is awesome. I like that. Anyway, that's it for me. I enjoy seeing what you all cook up. DFTVA.